What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Who Dat Davis, here for you. And if you don't know, you will know that over here, we bleed black and gold until we are dead and cold. And thank y'all for joining me for today's live film reaction as I study with first round selection, Peyton Turner, the defensive end out of Houston. Now, before we get down with the breakdown, I want to give a special shout out to everybody that watches my content here on a regular basis because as always, it is guys like you that make this channel what it is today. I am extremely blessed and honored that you guys take time out of your day to come check out my channel and the content that I put out there. It makes me so uh, makes me so fortunate to know that I'm actually doing some type of good for uh, my fellow Saints fans in this community. We are very tight knit, and all. Uh, I'm not good for semantics, but uh, also we are on course to still hit 1,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel before the end of this year. We are currently sitting at 968 subscribers. We are very much on course to hit 1K by the end of the summer, as a matter of fact. So we can hit 1K subscribers by the end of the summer. That would be absolutely insane. You know, just strive for me to do even more for you guys, put in even more quality content. And speaking of content, this is one of the new ones that we have here on this channel if you're just tuning in and joining us for the first time ever. The New Orleans Saints drafted Peyton Turner, defensive end out of Houston, because they've seen a lot of good in him. They've seen uh, a... a a prototype that's scored really high on the RAS. If you don't know what RAS is, it's pretty much the athletic score that the Saints go off of to measure what they want in a player. He scored really high on that. It was above 9.2, maybe 9.3, if I recall correctly. Peyton Turner has an ungodly large wingspan, probably one of the largest that's been out there. Uh, he's not only just powerful, He's also very fast. He's agile. He can get off the edge. He has some technique about him. You're going to see that in three different scenarios. We're going to be watching film on uh, here against Tulane. They're going to swap over to watch tape on BYU. And we're going to close it off and watch him play against UCF. Now, in that order, I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get down into it. We got the first play from scrimmage here for defensively for Houston. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, got first and ten, got first and ten for Tulane. See right there, chipped off the oh, chip, chip. See what I'm already noticing, right? Let's rock. Let's play that back. What I'm noticing. Look here. See, he attacks that inside shoulder. That's off a tight end. He tracked it back into play. No good. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next one. He's up here at the top of your screen. He was at a two-point stance. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. Two point stance, he's off. Not much happening there. See right here again. Pay turn again. Two point stance. Here we go. Not bad getting off that line. Ooh, I, okay, I like that. Let's run that back. Watch again. See that move? He attacks that outside. He attacks that outside arm. Nice, nice little swim over. He doesn't affect the play entirely, but he gets back there and creates that lane for the inside. What he also does for the Saints, he brings versatility. See, you'll see that coming up here in a second. Versatility, here he is lined up on the inside now. He's lined up on the inside. See a little point of attack right there. He's not really using his length. Look at that. 
Pursue, 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 pursue. I like that he gets off and goes after the quarterback, but I'd like to him for I like for him to do a little better. See there? Gets stood up just a little bit. He fights, he fights, he can't get off, he can't get off that guard. He can't get off that guard. He throws him down. I like that throw down. And he takes off there the quarterback. See, effort. I like that effort. Here he is again. Line up outside. Ooh, nice tackle there. I like that. See, what you got going on here is you got an RPO from, from Tulane. His, his job is not to go after the quarterback here. His job is to take away the running back and force the quarterback to pull it and have one of these guys here come up and make the hit on the quarterback. We'll, so, we'll slow it down here. Slow it down here to 0.5. See, his job, go straight after the running back. See, makes him pull it and forces them to come up and make the play on the quarterback. That's excellent right there. That's excellent. I like that. All right, here we go again. Back on the outside. Look at that. He explodes off the line of scrimmage. But he has a hard time getting off that block. See, he has a little problem when he goes up against tackles that are competent. Tulane had one of the better tackles in the conference at the time. This guy locked down their left side. And he does it here against Peyton Turner. See, he tries to get extension, but he gets locked up. He can't get off him. Gotta do better. Gotta do better. Line up back up again on the outside. Tries to attack the inside. He can't get off it. Can't get off it. Gotta be better than that. Right? Oof. What was that? Was that a hold? You get held here? It looks like a hold. See, he attacks. Right here. He can't get off. Ooh, yeah, that was a hold. That was a hold. That was a hold if I ever saw it. Here he is. Line back up on the outside. Three point stance. Can't get off him. Still can't get off him. Let's run that back. What I'd like for him to do, if he's 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 going upfield, slow this down right here. See, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm not very traverse any type of things. But if you guys can point something out, if I can do better or something, then let me know in the comment section, and I'll try to answer as best I can. But from what he, from what I'm seeing right here, he goes upfield. He goes upfield. He tries. He tries to swim under the arm. That's his. That's his technique, right there. He tries to swim under the arm. Tries to get that bend. Try to get that. Show off that athleticism, and it doesn't work. It, he doesn't work against this guy. What he should have done, I would have preferred. He stood up, and then swam back to the inside, because here, even though he stands tall in the pocket, you you attack that inside arm. You swim back inside. You can eventually get a dive off, and you can affect this throw with a with a QB hit, because he stood tall, and now they got a first down. Watch it one more time; you'll see what I mean. See, nice get off. He's attacking. He's attacking. He gets tries to swim under. It's not going to work. Tackle dips his sips a little bit. See, if he had gotten. That swim move to the other side a second earlier, he probably could have perfected this throw. But good on the quarterback, stand tall in the pocket, deliver. Receiver makes a good catch. Tulane extends the drive. It's not too bad, but I wish it could have been a little better. Here he is again, right here on the outside. What is Turner, no, 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 Turner. What was that? Come on, man. 
See, here he is. This. I don't know what he was thinking here. He should have kept. He should have kept outside. He lost contain. His duty here was to keep contain because his quarterback is a mobile one. He decides to try and attack inside. But it doesn't make any sense. And now he has all of this running room. See, by this point, he would have been here. Quarterback would have most likely stepped up because the coverage on the back end was pretty good. The quarterback steps up. He would have had in a sack long before now if he decides to go outside. But instead, he goes inside, and now he's on his back. I don't know what the decision was right there, but that wasn't a good one. All right, here he is back here on the outside. Okay, not bad. Kind of like a chop block, personally. That was a chop block. Stands up, two point stance. Let's see, no e oh, oh, no effort. Ooh, no. Hold on, what was that? Y'all saw that, right? Look, look, look. All right, here he is. Get off, get off, get off. You can't get off. Where's the hustle? Where's the drive? And he's tapping. See, look. He's tapping out. The man is tapping out. Already. Watch the hand. What was that about? It's only the first quarter. Come on. Have you been have you been playing snap or sap? Have you not been getting out of the rotation now and again? What was that about? That wasn't good. That wasn't a good look. Let's play that back. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay, I like, ooh, okay. Now that's better. That was better. That was better, y'all. See, that was much, much better. I like that. I liked what I saw. I liked what I saw. All right, y'all. Let, let, let's go ahead and rewind this back. I see Jerry Poor. I see Ghostface. I see that I was going on, y'all. Glad y'all are here. All right, now, pay attention to this. Pay attention to what he does to affect this play. So I'll slow it down for y'all. What we got here, this is what I want to see out of a first-round draft pick. If Peyton Turner is going to be expected to play day one in effect and play and bring some intensity to his offensive line, he needs more plays like this. See, he's already down, right? He explodes off the line. Look at that. Bam. And he doesn't give up. He doesn't give up on this play. He's already gotten them, I'd say, close to 10 yards. Anywhere from 6 to 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage. And he still doesn't give up. See, in NFL, that's big. You can affect a play like that, that's big. He gets himself back into the play. That was good. Here he is again. He's lined up on the inside. Here he is right here. Good attack. Ooh, good attack on the inside. Good attack on the inside. L look, look at this. Good attack on the inside. Boom. See, he's stunting to the inside. They're stunting here. Got the linebacker coming up on a blitz. That opens up the inside here in the A-gap. He stunts inside. He doesn't get the he doesn't get the SWAT down. But that's really good on Peyton Turner's part. It was just a quick release. Couldn't do much on that. I would have liked him. I got his hands up a little bit more. A little bit sooner. But that was a really good stunt inside. This is the versatility that warrants him being looked at as a first round pick by Sean Payne and Mickey Loomis. This versatility right here. Like I said, I hit his hands up a little sooner. But not much you could do there with a quick release. Here he is. Outside, once again. Doesn't really go his way, so nothing happens. We're going to let that go. We're going to let that go. See, point of attack. This tackle's been giving him fits for all the first uh, for all the first half. Been giving him fits. He can't get off him. See, he's got to use that length. 
He has a very large wingspan, guys. He has a very, very large wingspan. But this attack is getting him fixed. He's not using that length at all. He's not extending his hands. He's not extending those arms to try to get push. He's got to, he's got to use his length a little better than that. Here he is again, line up on the inside. No, let it go. Oh, that that's perfect. That was beautiful. See, guys, that's what happens when he uses his length. Payne Turner's got to do a lot better at using that large wingspan of his. Because when he uses that wingspan, look at that. Right there. Boom. See that? Look at the separation he gets when he uses that length of his. And now, extends that arm out. Textbook. I'm not worried about that too much. I'm not worried about the missed tackle because when you're playing at an all-pro level, where you got linebackers coming in like Demario Davis, Zach Bond, who's now a year under the system, and Pete Warner, who's really good and patient and playing against the run. This isn't going to go far. He's lucky. He's going to be lucky to get one, maybe even two yards, at this point. Most times with the Saints running uh, on, on run defense, most likely it's going to be stopped pretty much at the line of scrimmage or maybe the one yard loss. But he's not getting more than two yards against the Saints with Peyton Turner playing like this. So I'm not too worried about that. That was excellent technique. I like that. All right, here we go. Line up back on the outside. He couldn't get set. Not much happens there. We're going to let that go. Peyton Turner. Look at that. Right here. Oh, oh. Guys. Guys, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. Look at this. If if you guys can't hear me, let me know. Jerry, Dada, Ghost, can y'all hear me? L uh, let me know. If, if, if y'all can't hear me. If y'all can hear me, we'll keep going. I'll give y'all a couple seconds here. Like I said, I'm using a new type of software to give you guys a little film study. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. All right, we're going to keep going here. This is really good. Watch what Peyton Turner does here to affect this play. He's lined up on the outside, right? We're going to slow it down. Peyton Turner explodes off of this line of scrimmage. I mean, he explodes. Look at this. Look at that get off. See? Right here, we got running back, and we got the two. We, got, we have the tackle and guard here pulling to the backside to get at Peyton Turner, but he's already exploding off the line of scrimmage so fast. He's using, showing off that athleticism. Look at that! Look at that bend. See that bend? He can't do nothing. He was already beat the moment he exploded off the line of scrimmage. He was beat. And now he dips under, and he makes the tackle. He makes a tackle. That's the difference. This is the difference between. This is the difference between Pete, uh, Peyton Turner and Marcus Davenport. Stuff like this, you don't see Marcus Davenport doing that. You don't see him using that athleticism that that link that Marcus Davenport has. You don't see him using that kind of athleticism the way Peyton Turner is, is showing it here. He wasn't doing this at UTSA. He hasn't done it so far playing with the Saints. But Peyton Turner, right here, shows you why he got looked at as a first-round draft pick. That was beautiful. That was really beautiful. That was really good. All right, we're going to let it go. All right, he's going up against the tight end. Not much there. We're going to let it go. Here he is again. He's lined up on the inside. Showing off that versatility. Showing off that versatility. Mm. I'd like for him to do a little better than that. I'd like for him to do better than that, but uh, I'm going to let that one go. Here he is again. Over here. Oh, okay. The play didn't go his way. The play didn't go his way, but I like what he did right there. I like what he did right there. Watch what he does. Watch what he does. He attacks. See that? He uses the link. And boom. He rips him down. If that play would have went his way, 
if that play would have went his way, that's a tackle for a loss already because he was beat. He was beat right here. Bam. See, he's beat. That's a tackle for a loss that it went his way. That was really good. Like to see more of that. Like to see more of that. Here we go. Here he is again. See, when he uses his length, he's really good at it. When he really, when he really, really uses his length, look at that right there. Especially when you're going up against a tight end, you have to be able to beat tight ends. He gets some two yards behind the line of scrimmage, off of the off of the off of the initial contact. I'd like to. I like him to have a little more hustle there, even though it's running away from him. Here he goes again. He's on the inside. Bam. Like I said, playing against tight ends, he's going. To, he's going to be going up against the likes of Rob Gronkowski, Hayden Hurst, uh, now Kyle Pitts. You got uh, Thomas out there, in Carolina. They're going to be running the football as much as possible. They're going to be trying to run it at you. He beats the inside. He's saying, "I'm better than you." And you know I'm better than you, and I'm gonna show you why I'm better than you. Let's watch it one more time. Bam! Right there. He's telling this tight end, you can't handle me. You cannot block me. He's gonna need a lot of that when he going up against Rob Gronkowski and the like. A tackle for a loss. I like that. Let's keep it going. Payne Turner right here. He gets involved in the tackle. Right there, the guard's pulling. Let's watch it again. We'll go slow it down here. He doesn't necessarily begin the tackle, but he gets involved to keep him from getting in it in an additional yard. Look, see here, the guard's gonna pull. Payne Turner says, "Nope, I'm better than you. Get off of me." He gets in there and is involved in the tackle. Beautiful. I, I want more of that. All right, we're going to let it go. See there? Look at his stance. See this arm? Y'all see that arm? He's ready to take off. He's ready to say, I'm about to blow right by you, guy. Just watch it go. Just let it go. Look at that bend. Look at that bend. See, this is what he needs to do more of. When he is in this stance, from what I've seen of footage before now, when he's in this stance, he's ready to go. He means business. He beats this tackle easy. He's beat, all right? He sees that he's beat, so he's got to let this ball go. Bam. Okay, that's not a, that's not roughing the passer. He was blocked into him, but that was a beautiful, that was a beautiful move. Phone's ringing. She's going to probably let that go. Don't worry about it, guys. It's just... I don't know what that's about. But uh, let's let, let, let's keep going here. Payne Turner. Yeah, not much going there, but that's a drop. Look, man. Look, 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 look. Payne Turner, okay, he's blocked up. He had, see, Payne Turner has been uh, manhandling the left side of this, the right side, excuse me, of this offensive line. And he's forcing this throw. Early, and now look at the tight end drop. We Saints fans know what it's like to have a tight end drop a pass. He who should not be named. But here we go, Peyton Turner off the line of scrimmage. Not much going on there. A lot of quick throws because they know they can't handle them for more than two seconds. Here we go. And not much going on there. Let that one go. Okay. Payne Turner right here. Oh, that's nice. He again, he again affects this throw. He again affects this throw. He's telling these people on the line of scrimmage, I'm getting tired of y'all trying to manhandle me, so I'm about to show y'all why. I'm about to show y'all why my name is Peyton Turner. Look at that. That's beautiful. He's already affected the quarterback for like, Nearly 60% of his throws so far after he started getting serious after the first quarter. I like that. Let's read some comments here. Let's read some comments here. See what I got. 
Abby says, I think Peyton Turner's going to be a beast. Yeah, he's going to be a beast uh, when he gets going. When he uses that length a little more, he's really effective. He's really good. He just has to be better about using that length on a consistent basis. But I, I, I do believe he's going to be really, really good with Dennis, with Dennis Allen and his defensive line. Let's go ahead and keep going. See, you use it at length again. Running back, see, he uses that length again. He understands that when he uses that, when he uses that length, put it right there. When he uses that length, he wins almost every time. He gets involved in the tackle. He's already smelling blood. He's smelling blood. These offensive guys can't handle him. And they've had a couple of change-ups I've seen on this offensive line. That's a new tackle that's been there for a minute. But when you're better than somebody, you got to beat them. You got to beat him. Okay, that's not a bad one. He forces a... He's not... Let's run that back. Uh, what happens here... See, it's not bad, but I'd like for him to straighten out after that initial contact. About right there. Straighten out. Run straight at him. But he forces the QB up. Okay, that's not a bad one. So, I'm not going to knock him too badly for it. He's up. Line up here on the inside. In that three-point stance. Line up here on the inside. Showing off that versatility. He's beating the guard with that swim over. He's beating the guard. Gets inside. He forces the throw. Line up here on the outside. Look at that. Boom. See? That's what I want to see. He's already got two sacks right now in the game. Fourth quarter. Just started. Here we go. First and ten. Another that tackle. He's been giving his tackle fits. He's better than him. He knows he's better than him. That was really, really good. That was really bad by the tackle. But like I said. When you're better than somebody, you got to win those, and he wins easily right there. Easily. Easily. Here he is again. Lined up outside. And we'll let that one go. Not too much happening right there. Got him right here, outside. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yo. Hold up. Hold up. Yo. <laughs> oh man, did y'all see that just now? Oh, yo, look at this. Watch this. Don't know what that was, but watch what he does here to this tackle. Watch what he does to this right tackle. We're gonna slow this down. He says, "Look right here, contact." Boom. He says, get your ass in the weight room. He says, get off of me. He says, I baptize you. He says, no, sir. No, sir. Love that. Love that physicality in him. Boom. He says, get yourself in a chair. He's got to finish. Get, get involved. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. See, he's got to finish. Don't be relaxed just because you want. You gotta finish the play. You gotta play from from whistle to whistle. Getting inside, he can't get in there. He can't affect the play, but it was already a bad throw. Let this one go. See, he's commanding double coverage. He's commanding double coverage. This is what happens. See, this is what happens when you put. When you put someone under, when you put somebody under behind, they have to respect you. Now, see, watch. They're committing to him. They're committing everything they can to limit Peyton Turner. When you got two sides, you're knocking people on their butts. He just said, I need help. I need help covering Peyton Turner. That was good. That was really good. Here we go again. Going outside. Ooh. 
forces to throw. The quarterback stepped up in the pocket, so not much he could have done there. That was actually really good on his part. That was really good on his part. I can't be mad at him too much for it. <laughs> oh, look at him. He says, get off. He says, get off. They're forcing these balls. They are forcing these balls early because they are tired of dealing with Peyton Turner for longer than two to three seconds. See, there he is again. He uses that length. Let's run it back. You see him use that length? Uses that length right there. He gets him off his back foot. Off that back foot. Now you have control. You have control over this left tackle. He gets in there and he gets a sack. He gets the sack. Right there. Watch one more time full speed. But a attack, bam. Gets him off his back foot. Using that length. Using that length. He's found his length in the second half. Uses that length. Get get inside. Quarterback steps up. He can't go nowhere. Sack. Peyton Turner. Right there. That's what he can bring to this team. If he can use that a little more consistently. Uh, the swim move. Not your not your strong suit. The swim moves more of Carl Grinnis' thing. Here he is again. Look. They are committing. Two people to try and stop him. But even so, look. Look, he's driving. He's driving. They can't stop him. He's already in their head. He's in their head right now. That last that last drive to that last sack of his. Now he's saying that he needs help guarding against Peyton Turner. He's saying he needs help. Even so, he's driving, he's driving, he's carrying a guard on his back while driving into the quarterback and forces the throw. That's beautiful. Here's Peyton Turner right here. Already commanding, already commanding that attention right now. Commanding it from both of them already. Right there. See, what he should have done, right here, he has all this inside leverage. He has all this right here on the inside. Stunt. He should have stunted a little sooner. But game's already well out of reach, so I'm not going to knock him too bad. But it's the little things. Right here, could have stunted inside. He's beat. He's beat. You stunt yourself inside. You swim over inside. This is going to coach him up on that. But that's the game for Tulane. That was the game for Tulane. When you look at this, it makes you understand why they reached out to get him. He's good when he uses his length, but when he really gets stopped, it's bad. But he's got that upside more than, Mar than what Marcus Davenport showed you coming out of UTSA. Abby says, Payne Turner's speed and power. Coach Ryan Nielsen is going to coach him up. I'm predicting 8, 10 sacks in his first season. I have him at 6. I have him at 6 sacks. But if he can get double-digit sacks in his first season, then what does that say about Marcus Davenport? Now, granted, he's been dealing with injuries, so we're not going to knock him too badly. But last year, he only missed 4 games. He only missed 4 games. And he can only muster a sack and a half. If Payne Turner has more than 3, that's a success already. But if he can get double digit, that lets you know Marcus Davenport's been a bust. And, and if he maintains his health on top of that. If a healthy Marcus Davenport can't post more than three sacks, then that's a problem. If Payne Turner comes in and provides more for that defensive line of Marcus Davenport, that's a problem. We're going to go into the second one here. BYU. The one and only working against... Zach Wilson. Here we go. This is probably going to be out of the last one we do or or not. We'll see. 81 and I don't want to get copyright striked. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into this. Here he is lined up outside. Working against the left tackle. It's not bad. Could have been better, but he keeps outside leverage. So Blitzing linebacker can come inside, free rush. Not bad. Those horrible covers on the back end. Here he is. Right there. 
He's commanding double, uh, double already, double already. Here's Peyton Turner, right here, going down the line. He makes the jump to get into this play. I'd like him to run a little more downhill because they're obviously not worried about him here. Tight end's not worried about him. The tackle collapses in. What he needs to do, run a little more downhill. He gets a little too vertical. He needs to run in that straight line to get into this play. Straight line. He probably could have had him for at least probably two yards for loss, but that's not a bad one. He gets down the line just a little too late. Here he is out here on the outside. Mm, tackle. Tackle won that one. Tackle won that one. As you can see here, he was a little late. As you can see, he was trying to get inside. He should have gotten inside a little earlier. Zach Wilson had a clear running lane, and he's off. He's off. I don't see him here. I don't see him here on this play. Here he is. Payton Turner right here. Using that link, get back outside. He's not hustling. Why aren't you hustling? See, this is that little inconsistency I was talking about. I don't care if it's a quarterback that's running a little faster than you. You have to hustle from from whistle to whistle. He's, he's relaxed. He's relaxed. You can't have that. It's the little things. You gotta, you gotta handle the little things. Gets in. Let's watch it again. Here's Turner right here on the goal line. Paid Turner was the one that affected this. That stopped him just short. I'll slow it down so you guys can see. I'll show you. I'll show you how. I'll show you how he affected this play. See, here's Turner right here. Watch what he does. Watch him carefully. He gets in there. He stops the QB sneak. That's that effort I'm talking about. He uses that athleticism to squeeze in there and stop him just short. That's short. Here he is again, right here, right here. Watch him. Play didn't go his way, but he did get back there, so I'm not too worried about it. Peyton Turner, right here, top of your screen. Watch him. Not much happening there. We're going to let that one go. We're going to try to speed this up a little bit. See, there's the inconsistency again. He's not using that length. He's not using that length I was talking about. He's not getting that arm extension. He's got to get extended. Got to get that extension, Turner. Use that length, man. And now, you're on your butt. Got to do better. He could have affected that play had he just used that extension and shed that blocker off of him. He could have had that. Here he is right here. He's he's hustling. He's hustling. That's probably a hold. He hooked him. That looked like a hold. Watch it again. He's working. He's working. He's working. Just try to get back inside. Yeah, that's a hold. That's a hold. That was a hold. That was definitely a hold. Here he is again at the top of your screen. Swims inside. Nice swim move. Good job. Good job. I like that. I like that. So we're going to slow that down right here. Right here. I like that. I want to see more of that. Especially where you're going up against Zach Wilson again in your first NFL season. Here he is. He swims on the inside. 
He beats the tap. He beats the tackle already. The moment he swims inside right here, attacks that inside arm, he's beat. He can't block you. So now he has a free shot at Zach Wilson. Love how he cuts back, extends that arm out so you keep that balance to cut back. He gets in there and he gets the sack. That's better. When you're playing against Zach Wilson, you can't rest on your laurels. You have to play with that high motor that you know you have. Here he is again, right here. Use that link, use that link. You can't let a tight end, you can't let a tight end block you. You can't let a tight end block you. You can't let a tight end block you. See, right there. You should have used that link a little more. Probably got away with a hole, but either way, you can't let the tight end block you like that. You gotta use that link. He's, you're better than him. You have to let him know you're better. You gotta let him know you're better. Here's Turner right here showing that versatility. Line up on the inside. Swims inside. Hustle, 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 hustle. I like that. I like that hustle. Even though he was slow to get up. Not much happening there. We're going to let that one go. Payne Turner right here. Outside. Keep working. He's working. He's working. Okay, that's not bad. Going to run that back. So we're going to slow it down and see what he does. All right, right here, he's working. Boom. Contact. He's working. He's trying to get inside. Working, working, working. Boom. Guy's hands up a little late. Tackle did a pretty good job containing him, but he's working. He tried to get inside, and he almost affects the throw. Going to watch the motion here. See what he does. Not much happening there on his side. See, what I'm noticing, he's going up against really good tackles, right? He has a very hard time getting off the block. He's not using that athleticism. He's not using that length as much as he should be using it. Because he's got all that length, right? It's a little inconsistent. A little inconsistent. Like, I want him to be better at that. Let's read some of the comments here. Hey, Jerry, I appreciate that, man. I'm going to be doing more breakdowns like this for every for every prospect that we have coming in. Not every single prospect, but we're going to be doing one on, we're going to be doing some on the draft picks, right? So the next one we got coming up is Pete Warner. So that's going to be a little later down the line. But I appreciate you liking it. You say that as it was, Payne Turner was drafted to play inside a lot and affect Tampa Bay's two guards. Especially who both, did, who both do not have the greater arm length. That's true. That versatility is going to win him a lot on the inside. But you can also line up on the outside. Because Donovan Smith, when you're playing the Bucks, for example, to your point. Donovan Smith is not a good tackle. Peyton Turner should easily win against Donovan Smith. If Trey Hendrickson can do it, a more athletic, more long, more rangy length than Peyton Turner can definitely win against, uh, against Donovan Smith. So you may see him on the inside, but don't don't be surprised when you see him line up outside going one on one against Donovan Smith. Abby says, "I think Davenport has confidence issues. Davenport is technically the most naturally talented D lineman on our squad. I think he needs to see a sports psychologist so we can get over the hump." I can understand that. I can understand that, especially when you're dealing with a lot of injuries that can really that can really affect how you play because you're worried about not not reactivating any injuries and that can limit your that can limit your effectiveness. Ghostface Griller says they have the same slam in the power rankings. Me, I like it. The, I like it that way because I know what happens when they do. That's facts. That's facts. That's straight facts. All right, let's get back into it. Watch a little more film here. We got UCF after this, so we're gonna get through this a little quicker. Payne trying to line up on the inside. He's working against a guard in the center. Not much happening there. Here we go. Line up again. Inside. Not much happening there. Let that one go. I don't see him on this. So I don't see him on this play. So we're just going to let some of these go. As, ne as needed. As needed. Payton turn on line up there on the outside. 
He's getting a lot of he's getting a lot of attention. He's getting a lot of attention. See here? He's already getting attention from the guard and the tackle. And when you're commanding all this attention, someone else has to win on the inside. Someone else has to win on this side. Big enough, number 12. He wins. Throws it into the dirt. That's what happens when you're good. You're going to command that attention. Here he is again. There he is again. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Like I said, when you're when you have a we have a free shot, right? When you have a free shot like this, when they're pulling this way, you have to run more into a straight line. You have to get that bend that you know you have. You have to bend a little sooner and run straight down the line to get at this to, to make a play on this runner. He runs a little too wide. Runs a little too wide. See, look. Already he's got a clear shot. He's got a clear shot here. All he has to do and just bend outward, bend downward. Excuse me. Is that he takes a couple? He takes one or two steps out before he bends in, and as a result, six yards. Here we go again, top of the screen. Payne Turner, nice, nice, nice. See, see what he does here. He does it again. But this is a little better, right? He flips it out. He had inside leverage, okay? So he should have kept outside this time. He should have kept outside. He had contain here. In case this play was to go outside, which it does. See, they let him go. He should have kept outside. He should have had... This This running back was his responsibility. Instead, he, dip, he breaks down. Zach Wilson flips it out, and now he's got free shot. But luckily, this linebacker was able to force him back inside to where the help is, and Payne Turner can get back into the play. But he should have had the running back from the beginning. Right there, see? Already, he's here, so he can't pull it. He can't pull it himself. He has to flip it out. Payne Turner should have recognized this sooner and kept that outside leverage. And force him back inside to where the linebackers are because he's got a free shot. He's committing to him, and he's got a free shot. Should have kept outside, but like I said, it's little things that that, that could be coached up. Gonna watch him again, see if he's anywhere. I don't see him on this play. He might be sitting out. Gonna let that one go. Or about only 98. I don't see 98 on this play either. Might be sending out a couple of uh, couple of snaps. Get his breath back. They're inside the 10. There he is. Right there. He tried that swim move. Here he is. Here he is. Swim move. Bam. Like that. I like that. Right there. Six, six foot in the ground. See that? Now he's got the tackle turn his hips outward. So he's got the inside lever. Bam, right there. That arm's not going to do anything. He swims over it. He can get into it. Nice. The running back picked him up, but that was good. That's good effort by Peyton Turner. Here we go again. Use that length. Ooh. He lost that one. He lost that rep. Here he is again, lap on the on the outside. One on one with the running back. I didn't like that one. I didn't like that. See, watch. When you like I said, when you're better than somebody, when you know you're better than somebody, you have to let them know that they can't stop you. When you're able to command a guard and a tackle, when you have we have the ability to force them to commit more resources to stopping you. You can't let a running back stop you. He's one on one with this running back. He's one on one. You're bigger. You're linked. You're more rangy. You are stronger than he is. Right there, one on one. You should have been to shed this man off. It's that. It's that you are on your knees here. You get into being forced on your knees. You gotta use that length, my man. 
you should have pushed this man off to the side right there. This is where that link should have came into play. You shed him off. You get to the quarterback and you force an earlier throw. You can't let a running back hold you back like that. That's not good. You got to use that length more. Use that length, my man. Line up over here. Line up over here. He got collapsed inside, but that opens up the outside. And they get to... I believe they got him short. I think they... I think they got him. Yeah, they had him. Okay, good. Here he is again, outside. Not bad. I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to let that one go. Payne Turner line up out here. He has that outside leverage. See that? He keeps outside. He forces him to the outside. He has to get off that a little bit sooner. He has to get off that a little bit sooner. See, he comes snap right here. He gets chipped along the way, but that's okay. But I like what he's doing here. He's running, running, running. He's forcing him to bounce backwards. See there? Bounce him back. And now you have a chance to at least affect this run for a short game. Here he is down here. Mm, I want that to be a little better. I'm gonna let this one go. Let this one go. I don't see him. There he is, right here. Collapses inside. Oh, he's fighting too. He's fighting down there. He's fighting. He's fighting to get back there too. He saw the ball was on the ground. Right there. See, he saw it. He's fighting. He's fighting to get back there. I like that. Violent hands. Violent hands. I like that. He didn't get back there, but violent hands. That will tire somebody out. It's chess, not checkers. That was chess move. Get him tired. Here we go. Bottom. Working inside. Doesn't get it. Not going to win an every rep, but it's all good. We're not worried about this. He's not involved. Nice open field tackle. Might be sitting on another rep here. I don't see him either. But Grant Stewart. Grant Stewart got picked up by uh, Tampa Bay, but he completely whiffs. He completely whiffs on this tackle. He's out in the open field. He's one-on-one. -on -one. He's beat. He's beating the guard. Grant Stewart picked up by Tampa Bay in day three. I think he was Mr. Irrelevant this year for Tampa Bay. He had him beat. He completely whiffs. I don't know why he didn't stay up, keep his head up to make that tackle. But if he keep if he keeps doing stuff like that, I wouldn't mind him being on Tampa Bay, <laughs> low key. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this run. This man has gone down the sideline. Grant Stewart is the one who let that one go. Here he is. Nope, never mind. He's, not, he's still not here. Okay, there he is. He's on the next play. Here he is right here. He's back in the game. Swims inside. Swims back outside. I don't know about that one. He should have stayed outside from the get-go. See here? Got to be down there a little sooner than that. Got to, you got to get in your stance. He's a little lazy. He's a little lazy getting into a stance. Yeah, he, he had he had outside leverage. I think tight, but I think the tackle had outside leverage. He let it go right there. Yeah. See, I would have ran upfield, force him out, and then get yourself back inside. You go out. You go inside and go right back outside. It said you wish it when it go outside and swim back inside. Showing off. Go watch it back. 
He gets chipped. You saw, you saw that chip? Here he is right here. Gets chipped along the way. When you're getting chipped like that, that lets you know that you're you're starting to affect their game. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Good hustle. Good hustle there. You're alright. Gonna let that one go. See, he's not doing terrible, but he needs to, he, like I said, he needs to use that length more. Use that body. Use that athleticism. Like that, right there. Right there. Get yourself into the play like that. Get off it. Get yourself into the play. He comes from the opposite side. He comes from the opposite side. He works down the line. He sees that he's got the ball. He's working inside. And bam. Great play by Turner. Great play by Turner. That's what I want to see. They get into a touchdown anyway, but it's all right. He's up here at the top of your screen. He couldn't get it. What do you guys think of Turner so far? What's what what? It, 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 do you guys understand where I'm coming from? When I say that he needs to use that length more, that that that, that use that athleticism. And if there's anything I haven't I've missed that you guys want to point out, please let me know. Like I said, I'm not the best. This is my first time. I'm open to learning. All right, go let it go. This one's not featuring Turner, so we're just gonna let it go. I'm not worried about that. Next play. I don't see Turner. He's probably sitting out for a couple of reps. Who else drop ball too? I think that's Turner right yet. Yeah, Turner right here on the inside, showing off that versatility. He's pushing. Oh, he's driving. He's driving. Look at that. Watch, he's driving. This is what I mean. When you're stronger than somebody, that's what I'm talking about. Let's read some of these comments here. My son, your newest Saint PT took my phone, AirPods, and watched for 25 minutes. He loves film. Great job. Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I hope he I hope he comes around more often. We're gonna be doing more of this kind of thing. We're gonna be doing more of this kind of thing. We are very, very happy about this. All right, here we go. This is what I love. See? That versatility, he knows he's stronger than him. He's driving. Watch that leg drive. He's driving, driving, driving. He puts him on his back right here. This is the guy he's driving. He's, he's knee first. Well, face first into the ground. And he affects, he affects the play. This is pretty much Peyton Turner. Watch this. Boom. Boom. One of the one one of the first to contact. He's driving, driving, driving. See, when he uses that length, he's almost never beat. Use that length, drive, drive, drive. Affects the play. He can't step up into the pocket. That's good. That's what I want to see more of. Here he is down here. There you go. Get back. Get back. Get back. Run it. Run it down. Run it down. There you go. There, there's that hustle. There's that hustle. He may have gotten the first down, but that's the hustle I want to see. It's because the plays like this. See, he gets back. He's running it down. It's plays like that, that hustle, that can mean a big difference between just a first down and a touchdown. So good for getting himself back into this play. Here he is right here. Coming down the line. See that? That hustle. It's not in this play. We're going to let it go. And it's a touchdown. BYU got themselves back into this game. Here's Peyton Turner up here. Here he is. Here he is. He's working. He's working. Ooh, that was really good. He didn't get his arm. He didn't get his hand in there to swat it, but that's really good. He had him beat right there. Zach Wilson had to hurry up and let this ball go. Go slow it down. Go slow it down right here. See, he explodes off the line. He had him beat right there. Tackle can't do nothing except probably hold him. He gets in there. Wilson had to let it go early. Still a touchdown. 
but it's plays like that. He needs, he's gotten he's gotten better at using that at using that athleticism. Here he is down here. Gonna keep it at this speed for this play. See what happens. Coming off, coming off, come back inside. There you go. There you go. Get back into play. That was good. See, he kept outside leverage, so he, so he can't bounce it outside. He forces the running back inside where the help is. He gets himself back into the play. I like that. I like that. That one's got to be a little better. I like that one right there. There's Turner right here, top of the screen. Nothing happening there. We're going to let that one go. There he is right here. Playing inside. Ooh, see that's... He, he, he got penetration. He got penetration right there. He couldn't find... He couldn't find the ball, but it's not a, it's not a bad effort. But the fact that he managed to get in here, he collapses the offensive line. He opens up this space for the linebackers to get in here and stuff the run. He may not have gotten a tackle himself, but he still affected this play. These guys are effectively out. They got a free release. I like that. Credit to Turner right there. Zach Wilson got to take off. He's saying, I'm not staying in that pocket. That's not happening. Turner right here. Swims inside. Oh, there you go. I like that. See what he did here? This may not look like much, but watch what he does. He swims inside. He, do, he extends upfield. That's what I'm wearing. That's what I'm looking at the most right now. He beats him inside and he gets himself upfield because he sees this is a this is a screen. That way that screen were to go off, he could be in position to make a play on the ball for a short game. The little things. The little things. Here he is down here. Can't do much, can't do much. He's working, he's working, he can't get there. Go let it go. It happens. Sometimes you just beat. Sometimes you get beat. Line up on the top of your screen here. Here he is. Can't get involved. Here he is again, top of your screen. He's in he set in position. That was a tough one. That was a tough assignment right there. See? RPO option. He didn't see this one. But he should have kept outside. He should have kept running at the quarterback. He goes. He collapses down because he thinks he's gonna. Uh, he's gonna take it and run with it. I would have gotten a little further out here because you're supposed to have contain, right? Even if there is a pass, you have that length. If you stepped outside a little more, you really could have affected this throw. He can't run it. He can't run it here. The linebacker Grant Stewart. Has this plugged? Has this plugged up? And he's got safety help. Actually, has corner help coming down to fill this hole if he was to pull it. So, like I said, probably could have swing a little more outside, but it is what it is. He still couldn't get the pass off right. Third and fifteen. Here he is down here. He gets beat. Touchdown. That was just perfect ball placement by Zach Wilson. Perfect ball placement. It's unfortunate. He played a pretty decent game. I'm not going to say he had the best. He had the stellar game, but he had a sack. He had a sack in the game. And he had a couple tackles for loss. That's not bad. When you're playing against Zach Wilson and a really good BYU offensive line, to have a to about two tackles for a loss in the sack. It's not it's not too it's not too terrible. It's not too terrible at all. Like I said, overall, he does he does a handful of things. He does a handful of things well. Ryan knows this is gonna really really enjoy working with Peyton Turner and his high motor. He'll just have to be ready to 
shed shed blocks a little better than what he's doing and really use that link. When he uses that link, when he extends that arm out, he can't be stopped. He can't be stopped. All right, we're going to watch one more, and then we're done for the day. We've got Peyton Turner against UCF. Peyton Turner against UCF. All right, here we go. First play. First play for the defense. He's down here at the bottom of the screen. See what he did? That's better. I've already gotten on to him about extending too far up the field on a run play. See, RPO? See, he bends out right there. He was in position to either commit to the running back or commit to the quarterback. Right there. He had his option right there. He was already beat. Now he can decide to either attack the running back because he has to he has to collapse back out here. This is clogged up. So the running back comes out here. He's in position to make this play. But he's also had he also has that outside leverage to where if he has to stay and hold the ball, he can, he's in position to make a sack. So he had his options. The quarterback just has gotten the ball in his hand. He couldn't do either. But that's good. That that's a good hustle by Peyton Turner and good placement good placement. Not much going there except the bomb. I don't know why he didn't get his head around. Here he is down here. Not much happening his way. Just let it go. One more time. Same thing. Grant Stewart makes the tackle. Here he is down here. Again, not much happening. Right here. See? Right there. That's what happens. He's in position again. Same as, same as earlier. In position to make a play on the ball no matter where it is. He can jump outside for the quarterback. He can collapse, continue collapsing down the line to get at the running back. Perfect. Well, near perfect, I should say. Here he is, top of the screen. Not much happening there. He's very lean. He's very, he's very, he's really good cut. He's really cut for his size. I respect that. I respect that. All right, here we go for the next play. See, 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 hold on. Now, we saw this already the last time. When he gets that arm up, when he gets that arm up, he's ready to kill it. He is ready to kill this man. He's ready to cook this man. Here we go. We're going to let it go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go. Okay. Okay. Look, man. This is what I'm talking about. We're going to slow it down. We're going to slow it down right here. Look at what he does. Like I said, when he gets that arm up, more times than not, he's going to win on this snap. Watch how he how he explodes off the ball. Look at that step. Watch the step. Right there. That's an excellent step. He's already beaten his boys off the ball. He's beaten this tackle already. He's already beat. He can't stop him. Right there. See that bend? See that dip? He dips under the arm. He's beat. He's done. He can't stop him. And then, boom. Strip sack. I like that. Grant Stewart scoops the ball up. Takes it to the house. It's a place like that that makes you really excited about what Peyton Turner can do on a consistent basis for his team. Line up inside. He's driving. I like that. He gets his hands up because he knew we couldn't get in there in time. Gets his hands up. Inside there. Sets down quickly. He's driving, driving. Hands up. Didn't do much, but it's the little things. Little things. All right, here we go. Here he is right here. Not much going on. We'll let it go. UCF was mainly poised on that quick action. See there? And they're running the ball. They're running the ball. I'm already noticing already. They are running this ball away from Peyton Turner. They are running this ball away from Peyton Turner because they know they can't handle if, he, if the ball goes his way. I don't know what he was doing right there. They were probably anticipating him running straight up the middle. Here's Turner right there. Not much going on there. He gets beat right there. Ooh, see?
See? Someone should have filled this hole. I'm not going to blame it entirely on Turner. Because someone should have came down and filled this hole already. Because he's, he's done right. He can't get into position to make the play. But he keeps it from bouncing outside. He keeps it from going outside. He should came, Someone should have came down already. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cook him too bad for that one, not too badly. Could have done a little better. See, so you gotta use that length a little more. Can't do much. The ball's not going his way. Again, well, I don't know what these guys were doing out here, like at all. What was that about? Come on, man. Here he is. And. Come on, come on, keep running. You gotta keep running. You gotta keep running. From whistle to whistle, you gotta keep running. Here he is, top of the screen. See, that's that's good. That was good. When you're better than somebody, when you're better than somebody, he's already in poor position. This tackle's in poor position. All you have to do, all you have to do is take advantage of it. He takes advantage, he says, get off of me. He shoves him back. He gets himself into the play, and he barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. That was a good rep. Here he is right here. Tackle beats him. He can't get in there, but Grant Stewart affects the play. Here he is. He tried to swim inside, couldn't do it, but so he tried to get his hands up. Here he is down here. Shots collapse inside. Well, try to collapse outside. Inside hole opened up. Interior compromised. He couldn't get in there and make the play. Here he is again. See? He was in position again. He was waiting on it. He was waiting on it. See right here. See? He's already looking in the backfield. He's already looking in the backfield. So, he's gone. He wasn't holding his responsibility right here. Payne Turner had him beat the moment he looked into the backfield. Right there. He's looking back here to see where this is going. So now, he waits. He waits to see what happens. In case he decides to pull it. That slight hesitation. He was waiting on it. He was patient. Here he is again. Trying to dip. Didn't happen. Here he is right here. He tries to collapse inside. Bad angle. Bad angle by Turner. Bad angle. See, right there. He tried to attack that inside shoulder. Should have stayed outside. Running back has one-on-one. -on -one. He says, nope, I'm better than you. He takes off. Have to stay outside in situations like that. Can't give up that edge. There he is again. Nothing happening on that play. Here we go again. Top of the screen. Top of the screen. Right there. Not much going on. They they are doing everything they can to get away from Peyton Turner. Most of these plays, their quick scripts, they're running or throwing away from him. That's pretty much telling me that they respect Peyton Turner too much as a threat. They are pretty much scared unless they know they can collapse him inside to make a play. See, he got, he got a little lazy right here. He probably wasn't expecting it. See, got a little lazy. But I appreciate the pursuit. Get in there and try to get the ball. Here he is again. Throwing away from him. Here he is here. Inside, try to go outside, not working. He had the presence of both linemen right here. See, he's commanding two people. He's commanding this kind of attention. So someone here... One of these guys, they have to win. They have to win the matchup. Someone on the opposite side like Cam Jordan or Carl Grandison, they have to win that matchup right there to affect this throw. Maybe you're someone like here. Maybe David maybe David on Yamada. Shy Tuttle. Someone here has to win that matchup and get in here, collapse this pocket. Make sure he can't step up to make this throw. Because he's already commanding two people. Crazy. Here he is here. Swims outside. 
I respect that. A little smooth, smooth right there. Steps out, smooth. He gets beat. So he was the run towards the way of Payton Turner. That's a tackle for loss. I'll show that one more time. That was a that's a good technique. Even though the ball didn't go this way, it's a good technique. Look, right there. That foot right there. He's committing to attacking that inside, that left side of Peyton Turner. But he steps out, and he's already beat. So, running back can't run this way. He was already in position to mess his entire day up. He has to run the opposite way. Stacks him up. There you go. See, he uses that length right here. He uses that length right there, right there. You can't see it, but this little right here, that's him using his entire length. Stand this man up. Watch where the ball is. Get in there. Make a play. Short game. He's on the inside. He's rushing. He's rushing. Lovely. On the back end, the quarterback, a quarterback normally is going to have his ball forced out right here. If it was anybody else, and the coverage on the back end by the Saints is good, is better than this. See, this is he's giving up a little too much cushion here. He's giving up four to five yards of cushion. He's late on breaking on the ball. If he would have broke down a sooner, Payne Turner would have had a would have had a strip sack right there. Coverage on the back end didn't hold up, and now he's off to the races. Here he is down here. I like the bend. I like the bend. I'm gonna watch it again. I like the bend. Right there. See? Bending, bending, bending. Tackle gets just enough of him to force him to kick him out a little bit. Give the running back some room. First down. It's not bad. I'll take that rep. I'll take that rep from him. Here we go. Not much happening here. See? He's not running. You gotta run for it. You gotta run for it. Everybody else is rushing. You gotta get there. Probably got the last snap of the day. He tries. He clocks it down. Not working. Touchdown. All right. That's all the footage for today on Peyton Turner. Overall, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I like this. I like this at all. I like this very much. He has promise. He's shown more promise than Davenport coming out of UTSA. You've seen that when he uses his length, he can't be beat. When he uses that length, when he has better uh, understanding of a better understanding of run schemes and certain uh, from certain teams, he can get in there and make tackles for loss all day long. Row City, what's going on, Row? Hope you're enjoying the, the little film session. We just about wrapped up here. But thank y'all. Shouts out to uh, Elena Turner. I hope I hope you enjoyed uh, me covering your son here. Uh, I gave your son a little bit of a fit on night one on the NFL draft. I apologize for that. I was expecting a little something different, kind of like uh, Aziz Ojolari or a Gregory Russo. So if you find that clip, don't uh, don't hate me for it. I'm, I'm still young. I was expecting a little too much from all the hype the Saints uh, uh, stirred on Twitter about trading up. So, But I like your son. Your son is very good. He has that he has that smile about him. He has that energy about him that the Saints defense is going to love. Cam Jordan is going to love. I think he's going to do really good things for the Saints. I can't wait to see Ryan Nielsen coach up to him that he can use that length at any time. And he can impose his will on, on an opposing offensive lineman. This is going to be a really, really good time for all Saints fans. But... That's it. That's all. The next video we do is going to be covering uh, Pete Warner, the linebacker from Ohio State, one of my favorite draft picks of this year. I love Pete Warner. I've watched him all, all three years. He is um, very patient. He's And when he plays slow, but he plays fast as of uh, as Boogie uh, announced on his channel when he did his film on him. We're going to be doing two separate films for Pete Warner. It's going to, get, it's going to be against Penn State. And Northwestern. If we add another one in there, it's probably going to be against Nebraska. I'll let you guys know uh, over time what's going what's going down. I might do two, maybe three. But enjoy Pete Warner coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this film session, this film study of Pete, of uh, Peyton Turner. Let me know in the comment section what you guys liked, you didn't like, what you want to see improved. 
And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. We bleed black and gold until we dead and cold.